In the mid 14th century, a terrifying pandemic swept through Europe, killing millions and leaving devastation in its wake. The bubonic plague, often called the Black Death, wiped out nearly half the population of Europe. But what exactly caused this horrific event? Was it just rats and fleas? Or was something more at play? Today we try to unravel the mystery of the cause of the bubonic plague. If you enjoy historical mysteries like this, click that subscribe button to keep up with our future releases. It was the year 1347. Europe was a continent of growing cities, trade routes, and crowded towns. But with that prosperity came vulnerability. When the Black Death arrived, it did so swiftly and mercilessly. The disease spread faster than anyone could have imagined, and no one knew where it came from or how to stop it. For centuries, the story was simple. The plague arrived on merchant ships, carried by rats, which were infested with infected fleas. These fleas would bite humans, passing on the bacteria that caused the plague. But could that really explain a pandemic that moved with such terrifying speed and scale? The bubonic plague named after the painful swollen lymph nodes, or buboes, that appeared on victims was one of the deadliest pandemics in human history. But it wasn't just the buboes. Victims also suffered from fever, vomiting, and eventually organ failure. Death would often come within days of infection. We now know that the bacteria responsible for the plague is Yersinia pestis. This bacterium can spread in several ways, through flea bites, direct contact with infected bodily fluids, or airborne droplets in the case of the more virulent pneumonic plague. But in 14th century Europe, medical knowledge was limited. Plague doctors wore their now iconic beaked masks, stuffed with herbs to protect them from miasma, the poisonous air they believed carried the disease. Yet, the real cause of the pandemic would remain a mystery for hundreds of years. For centuries, the prevailing theory has been that fleas were the primary culprits in spreading the plague. Fleas carrying the Yersinia pestis bacteria would feed on the blood of infected rats, then bite humans, transmitting the deadly pathogen. As Europe's trade routes expanded, rats aboard ships spread the fleas and the plague across continents, from Italy to France, England to Russia. The disease followed major trade routes, wiping out entire communities. But was it really just the rats and fleas? Over the years, historians and scientists have questioned whether the rat and flea explanation alone could account for the plague's devastating reach and its unprecedented speed of transmission. The Black Death spread shockingly fast, far quicker than rats and fleas could realistically travel. Entire villages would be infected in a matter of days. Could there be another explanation for this? Recent research suggests that human-to-human -human transmission may have played a larger role than previously thought. Some scientists now believe that the pneumonic form of the plague, which infects the lungs, may have spread through coughing and sneezing, transmitting the bacteria directly from one person to another, without the need for fleas or rats. With crowded living conditions, poor sanitation, and a lack of medical knowledge, it's possible that the plague could have jumped from one person to another rapidly, causing the pandemic to spread far more quickly than if it had relied solely on fleas. Studies of ancient DNA from victims of the Black Death have revealed that the plague bacteria can evolve into more deadly forms under certain conditions. It's possible that during the Black Death, the bacteria adapted to spread more easily between humans, leading to the massive death toll. But there's another theory that may explain how the Black Death began. Many experts believe that climate change in Asia 
during the early 14th century may have contributed to the spread of the plague. Warming temperatures in Central Asia likely displaced rodent populations carrying the plague, driving them closer to human settlements and along the Silk Road trade routes. As the rats carrying infected fleas migrated, they may have brought the disease into contact with humans. From there, the plague spread through trade caravans, eventually reaching Europe. Many historians now believe that the plague originated in Asia, possibly in the Mongol Empire, before making its way westward through traders and travelers. In fact, some records suggest that the Mongol armies may have used biological warfare by catapulting plague-infected corpses into besieged cities. So, what was the real cause of the bubonic plague? The truth is it may not have been any one factor, but rather a deadly combination. The rats and fleas likely played a role, but so did human-to-human -human transmission, climate change, and the movement of people along trade routes. In the end, the Black Death was the perfect storm of conditions that led to one of the deadliest pandemics in human history. While our understanding of the plague has advanced, its exact origins and how it spread so fast still leave many questions unanswered. The bubonic plague reshaped the world, decimating populations and altering the course of history. And while we may now understand much more about Yersinia pestis, the disease's full story is still shrouded in mystery. Was it the rats, the fleas, or something else entirely? One thing is certain, the plague is a chilling reminder of how fragile human life can be in the face of nature's deadliest forces. What do you think? Could human transmission have played a bigger role than we once believed? Or were the rats and fleas the true villains? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more dives into history's greatest mysteries. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and never stop seeking the truth. Thank you for watching.